Oh, that's funny. Remember? I was saying, are all ceiling fans created equal? Of course they're not. This one, this one's installing way different than the last one. Oh, I gotta get my little my little knee pad. I was using that to step on the on the bed. I don't know how good that's doing, but eh, I'm, I'm at least making the effort, right? Okay. So I don't know. This this might be this might be 10 pounds or so. Okay. So now I gotta just get keep my wires kind of out of the way and lift that up there into the knuckle. Hey, here it goes. Slide it in. Okay. Now that's not it, is it? Because it has to fit in one of those notches. So I have to take this and just turn it either to the left or the right. And I did. See, it's up. Now if I turn it a little bit, it'll go ka clunk Okay. Now that's exactly where it's supposed to fit. Right like that. Okay. And because my wires are over here, now I've got to figure out where do I want these wires because these are the wire the, the power wires coming from the box. They're kind of short. So I think everything needs to be hooked up over on this side. And so I'm gonna take my my wires coming from the ceiling fan and I'm just I think I'm gonna to have to put them over here. I don't know. I should I should look at that little uh, box that has to fit up in here. We'll, we'll do that next, okay? I might have to rearrange these wires. We'll see. We'll see what I have to do here in a minute, okay? That's the next step, okay? See there? Look at that. It's supposed to swivel like that because it's on that knuckle, okay? But you've got to fit it in that little clump notch so that this doesn't... I see I can't twist this to the right or left now because it's fitting into there. You've got to make sure that happens because you don't want that... If you don't get that notched in there, it could twist around and it's going to wobble and you're going to be like, what on earth? I knew I couldn't do this myself. I don't know what Video Joe's telling me that any average Joe can do this. I can't do it, so screw this. I'm not going to do it and I'm going to call an electrician. Hey, fine. You want to call an electrician? It's going to cost you probably $150 for him to come out to install one of these for you. Okay, a licensed electrician who's mobile enough to come out to just install this. It could be 200 bucks. If you got a light fixture up there, he's got to take down and um, all that kind of stuff. And that's just to install the ceiling fan that you end up deciding, you know? You go pick it out, you go buy it, you go bring it home. And if you don't feel comfortable doing it, then have an electrician come out. You don't have to have the first one. You can call three different electricians if you want. You're going to get three different prices. Guess what? And if you want to take the cheapest one, chances are the cheapest guy is going to know what to do. Or you can, cho you can choose the, the middle guy or something. Hey, do whatever you want. Or you can do it yourself and save even more money. You don't have to mess around with hot wires. We're not. Have we messed around with any hot wires yet? I've shown you. What I do at the light switch, and if you don't feel comfortable with that, you can turn the light switch on, make sure you got power up here, turn the breaker off if you want. Okay? This is this is what you're gonna have so far. You've got a uh, you got two ground wires up there, a black wire, a white wire, a blue wire, a red wire, a white wire, another ground wire. My word, but you know what? Stick with me, you can do it. It's not that difficult. I'm going to show you step by step on how to do this wiring. Okay, coming up. Okay, let's talk about this wiring now. We've got this whole harness assembly to fit in there. And see, we're going to slip this in just like that. Went right up in that, in that cavity where, where that black housing bit we had up there is designed in such a manner to where you can take this thing and slide it in there. So we're gonna, I'm gonna first look and see how I wanna do this. Do I want it, do I want it slid? And do I want these wires right here with this going over the top of it? 
I could probably do that or I could resituate the wires and have the wires come around on the side so it's not hitting the box at all. You know, we could take these wires and we can reposition them. We want, they don't have to go in there. They, we can keep them all out of the way and have those come around over on this side. Okay? We want, let's just see. We're gonna we're gonna take this, and before before I do that, I'm gonna have to look at this and make sure the numbers are coinciding with the other, and it should be fine. And if and if you will remember before we looked on the we looked on this housing thing, the white and black that come out of it is going up to the white wire and the red wire that's coming down from the ceiling. Okay, and so that that is going to fit up in here like this and we've got the ground wire and see it just kind of fits in there like that and you've got the little antenna on it well it's just going to be pushed over so this housing is going to fit up over the whole thing right okay and so now I've got to look and see where how I want these wires because if I situate this on this side this white wire is barely long enough to hook in to this white wire over here. It'll work. It'll work. But I might decide to slide it in this other way. You know? Over this direction. Maybe. You just kind of have to kind of look at it and play with it and see. Now see this big fat end is right up next to these wires. And I don't have much of a cavity after I put the wire nuts on there to slide them around so that I can get this up in there. I've got to, I've got to make sure it all works. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking I might, I might want to slide it around this other way. Okay. And, and I can do that. But I want to look, I want to look at this. I want to look at this first. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at the. It should be set right, but you see these uh, these numbers right here. I'm gonna look at it real close and see which ones are down. And they're, in fact, all of them are facing down right now. See, I can make a new code. I can push the second to the far right I can push that one up I can push the other one up leave the other ones down or whatever I want I'll have to read the directions first because it's easier for me to do that now obviously then once I put it in there and slide it in there and think oh no I didn't look at all that those settings to see what this is set at to see if I have to reset anything on the handheld remote and when I get the I get the handheld remote out. I'm going to have to look at that. And you see, there's that whole same sequence. And everything is facing down, isn't it? Okay. So I can probably, I can probably leave it like that. All right. I'll have to put the battery in and everything. And um, it should work fine. Now, if something ever happens to where if it stops working... Maybe it's going to be because of your battery, or it might be because you need to change your configuration. And it shows you how to do that and how to reset that. And that's why you always, you always have to save your directions. Because when you save your direction booklet towards the back, um, there's probably going to be an area for troubleshooting. See, this is in two different languages. Um... Well, let's just see here. See, I still have to look at this to see how the light gets installed and the wiring. And then it talks how to operate your ceiling fan, how to install your remote control. Uh, it gives you maintenance, how to clean your ceiling fan blades. And then here's the all important troubleshooting. Fan will not start. Fan sounds noisy. Fan wobbles excessively. Not enough air movement. Here's a part list if you ever need to order parts. 
shows you how to order parts and it'll, and it'll probably give you their phone number on here and how to do it and, and all that so you never want to throw this booklet away okay save that um, where you keep all your other warranties and stuff like that and all that so I'm gonna look at that read it a little bit I might make the determination of leaving those alone, the factory set, or do it slightly different. Okay, you choose before we get next, the next step to our project of sliding that back in and figuring out which wire goes to what. Okay.